The EU was dubbed appalling by a commentator who argued the bloc is increasingly undemocratic and authoritarian as he tipped London for a post-Brexit boom. The EU is having to justify its actions, perhaps more than ever before, in the wake of the coronavirus crisis. Leaders in Brussels have faced widespread criticism for their slow handling of the vaccine rollout, with Italy this week blocking a shipment of the AstraZeneca jab to Australia. For entirely different reasons, Brexit has also raised existential questions for the future of the bloc. And, although Prime Minister Boris Johnson secured a trade deal with the EU on Christmas Eve, future financial services arrangements remain up in the air. However, despite some city traders fearing for London's future prosperity, Professor David Blake argued that the square mile will continue to thrive. Further still, he claimed the EU will be left behind as its increasingly undemocratic and authoritarian ways become more apparent. He wrote, even before the withdrawal agreement was published, Sir John Cunliffe, a Bank of England deputy governor, expressed concern that the Treasury is going to give it all away when it comes to city regulation post-Brexit. He feared that this would leave the City of London and its regulator, the Prudential Regulatory Authority, as a rule taker from Brussels. Reports at the time suggested that relations between the Treasury and the bank were very, very bad as a result of growing distrust. He then pointed out that this is quite remarkable for three reasons. He continued, first, the City of London is the jewel in the crown of both the British economy and the European financial system. Second, he added, remaining a rule taker from Brussels would mean the UK loses the opportunity for better, lighter regulation and we will lose our commodities markets. Professor Blake noted, third, the EU is facing a series of political, economic and financial crises. It has become a fundamentally protectionist trading bloc and is no longer a force for global liberalization. It is becoming increasingly undemocratic and authoritarian, as its appalling treatment of Greece in 2015 made clear. And to top it all, the Euro project will turn out to be the biggest single, and most predictable, failure in global financial history. When this happens, the European banking system will collapse. Key Eurozone banks, such as Deutsche Bank, Societe Generale, BNP, Santander, Ing and Unicredit, are already in very serious financial difficulties. This will be followed by economic catastrophe in the peripheral states of the EU. He concluded in his 2019 piece for Brexit Central, in view of this, why would anyone in their right mind allow their financial regulations to be dictated from Brussels once the UK leaves the EU? If Brussels refuses to accept enhanced equivalence or mutual recognition, then the city is more than capable of going it alone, as it has done very successfully for most of its history and as countries such as Switzerland, Hong Kong and Singapore are recurrently doing.